Hello, and welcome to our Let's Look At slash Let's Play of Distant Worlds 2. And now, let's head into our episode. Yes, there is a sandbox mode, essentially, which is neat. Nice. Now, for me... Yeah, espionage, diplomacy. Again, this game only came out three months ago. And much like Stellaris, it's going to take time to get to the point where it's like, no, this is a must play. Um, right now, I'm telling people, if you're a fan of 4X, give it a shot. Yes! Sins of a Soul of Empire. Mwah. Also, there, at least for right now, there's not a lot of mods. I could see modding this to a Star Trek makeover easily. Or Babylon 5 or Stargate. Not Star Wars, though. There's not enough... Yeah. And it depends on the level of tech versus... Uh, th there's a whole calculation that goes behind the screen scenes. Um, at the beginning, you can get 80... Uh, versus pirate factions, you can get tech steal rates of 80% plus. But the farther in-game you go, depending on what how far the, down the tech tree what you're trying to steal is, that number gets lower and lower combined with espionage and skill levels and anti-espionage and that sort of thing. So, yeah. Um, so, here's for me the meat of the game. Which is designing ships. Because, my god, this is one of the best ones I've ever seen. Yeah, I know. And that's the problem. They, they need a way either... Either anti-espionage needs to give experience... At a slower rate. Or you need some way to train people. To level up. And Stellaris needs the same thing. Uh, for their admirals. And generals. There needs to be a way to train leaders. Or for them to earn passive income. Uh, we're going to go latest build buildable design state ships. So we have destroyers. We have now researched. I go to build our choice of yeah kind of like hearts of iron so a heavy destroyer fast destroyers or fleet destroyers now there is an espionage academy building uh, uh which is there actually is one but that's Espionage isn't... Oh, wait. Maybe it's down here. Cancel. Cancel. Where are you? Officer training. Skilled command. Sector govern. Hmm. We might rush this. Alright. Let's go to... Jump to fighters and assault pods. Yes. It gives a counter espionage bonus, and I can't. I'm sure I can search it. But yes, there is, but it doesn't do what I would like it to do. Actually, speaking of which, we're going to need to do a weapons pass. Uh, again, we're focusing on beam weapons and missile weapons. Because we need to get to this. So we're going to need heavy missiles. And fast missile. Um, because this this is part of our now I will say this. Yes. Um where is it? It I like to focus on one or two weapons and just you know blitz that tech tree. I will say this is it tractor beam? I believe it's tractor beams. It is worth it. Okay, we can't go down there. Just to get this. Because this doesn't... Is it this? Hold on. Oh, okay, I'm going to have to go through those. It doesn't actually, like, it does damage and that sort of thing, but it also makes all your other defenses on a colony better. I think they changed that. 
Uh, n yes and no. It's kind of hard to do hard countering in this game because the only defenses are shields, armor, and 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 point defense. And if you're far enough down a tech tree, and the defenses aren't on par, you'll do so much damage, it's not going to matter. Um, there really is no hard countering in this game, as far as I can find. Is it ECM? Integrated Missile Defense, Massive Real Guns, nope. Massive Missile Weapons, Torpedo Weapons, no, no. Aerial Weapons, no. Energy Beams, no, okay. Uh, I don't is there uh, an ECM? I believe that's down here. Free upgrades. We're gonna snag these when we get a chance. To. This countermeasure. But... Yeah. So like it, it like. If I get down to, we'll say, you know, tier 4 or 5. Oh, okay. If if all you have is tier 1 and 2 shields and armor, it's really not going to matter. So it's usually... E there really is no hard countering in this game. Even ECM only does so much. Um, But anyways... So we have now, we have improved destroy. so now we get a choice of, oops, there we go, heavy, fast, or fleet. Now, when I first played this game, there was no point in choosing fast, because ship engine amount was always locked to fleet destroyer size. So heavy destroyers, heavy destroyers, fast destroyers, they would get five engines locked too. They have set since fixed that. So we're going to actually take a look at what is the bonus of Fleet Destroyer over Heavy Destroyer. I am not a fan of Fast Destroyers or Fast Anything. Uh, I prefer either Fleet or Heavy. Heavy Destroyers get more weapons. Less engines, but that's okay. Same amount of defenses. Same amount of general... Yeah, so it looks like the difference is, the major difference is, heavy destroyers are more likely to hit, whereas fleet destroyers get a balance between countermeasures and targeting, and they lose a weapon slot. Because of that, I am going to build heavy destroyers. I would rather have a 10% targeting bonus and that extra weapon slot rather than a 5-5 five -five split. That is me personally. If you play this game, go however you want. So now we're going to go into Ship Designer. And and again, mwah, this is the meat of the game for me. We have Destroyer 2s. So we're going to add new Heavy Destroyer Auto Generate. We're going to call this Heavy Destroyer version 3. And we are going to adjust this. That is a lot of shields. Uh, good, good, good. A single small star starfighter bay is fine. We are going to strip the defenses. Because that is far too many shields. I like going to three. A balance. Um, one, two... Uh, we do get bonuses to shield generation, so I would say, at least for these guys, if you've only got seven slots, do three armor, four shield. Uh, there are some species where I would argue the other way. Four armor, three shields. That's me. So, uh, that is far too many defenses. Uh, how many engines do we have on? Actually, we're also going to take a look at what are you missing? Huh. Okay. It's got the damage control unit, which is good. It's got a cruises, two cruise systems, which is good. Two fuels. Jerax have hyperdrive. That's fine. We still need two quantum reactors 
Interesting. Okay, so we're going to leave that alone for now. Now we're going to fill out the weapon. So our size is 675. We're going to put it. So what you were asking is, the only thing as far as the S means it goes on small. So size 15, so it can go on any of these. If I, I try using a medium torpedo, size 30, it can't go on the 19s. Um, so we've got, what have we got? We have a 360, so that is immediately going to get the Sentinel beam defense. So we have 360 coverage for our point defense. Now, uh, power weapons. Our choices are, I would argue, these are size 19. Can we get away with Concussion missiles are standoff seeking weapons, which means they don't care about firing. Can we get away with two of these? So far, so good. And if I do the math, no, shoot, we're a little over. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I would like to do two star beams. But we see that puts us three over. So we're going to convert the back one into a small star. And now we fit. Tur top speed is lower than average. Maneuvering turn rate is lower than average. Uh, one, two, all right, nope, four is cap. So what becomes more important? Well, I, I don't have a choice. We can either thrust vectors. Nope, I need the crew systems. All right. I would like a wreck system, but we can't afford that. We could trade out a single fuel. Can we get a wreck center in there? Or 10. We can. Quite easily, and we will. So what wreck centers do is... So without the rec center, we're paying 603, 603 credits a year per, oh, per ship. With the rec center, 578. That shit adds up quick. I'm just saying. So we're going to trade out a fuel cell for a rec center. Um... Yeah. And then save and exit. And there we go. And we're going to obsolete. That's the latest biddable. Sorry. Active buildable. We're going to obsolete our old destroyers so they will slowly upgrade up to heavy destroyer threes. Um, and now we're going to go in and do a pass of every single ship in spaceport so strap in folks this could take a few so we're gonna do well i'm not building troop transports i don't care small colony ship uh we have one out but that's okay actually i don't think we need to do that one medium fuel barge that gets an upgrade yep gets the rec center damage to coal three and three I believe cargo capacity is how much fuel it has. We could dump a quantum reactor. But I'm not sure what we would dump it for. Hmm. We've got the wreck center. We've got a damage control unit. I suppose we do another damage control unit. They do stack. Or a medical center. Um, right? So defenses. 60, 32. Versus 38. Or. Okay. I think I would rather have the medical center. 
I would rather have that extra 6% damage reduction over a 0.1 damage repair rate. And that is something I'm going to have to keep in mind. Fuel barge. Medium explorer. You can dump this. And again, don't know what else to put there. A medium rec center, right? Uh, everything else is good. Save and exit. Medium constructor. Okay, you are missing... Both a rec center. We'll dump the... Hmm. Oops. Hold on. We'll add the... Well, first we add... Oh, uh, where are you? The rec center. And then the med center. Okay, we have enough. Two cargo bays. Two fuel cells. This is a constructor. I would argue a third cargo bay, actually a third fuel cell, is better than a third cargo bay. And we're good. No problems. We're full up. I'm not going to throw weapons on here. Yes. We're saving exit. Heavy escort. We're not using escorts anymore. But just in case, we can dump a quantum reactor. It has a quantum. It has a rec center. It is missing damage control. So we're going to throw that. Because the first one is 25% reduction. So that's where they get you. We'll jump from 7 to 32. If I were to throw another one on here. So the repair stacks, the damage reduction does not. Because they pop, much like Stellaris, once you get to the point of building destroyers, whereas frigates have enough hull, shields, and armor, hull, shields, and armor, that they can take a few hits all throughout the game, once you start building destroyers, and especially heavy destroyers I have found in this game, much like in Stellaris, escorts, literally one, two shots max. They they just chew up the amount of damage they can quote unquote soak does not make up for the amount of cost they would be. Oh, so damage control units, crew system, and a double fuel cell. Yep, we're good there. Ion cannon, star beam, you're good to go. Uh, two recommendations, that's fine. Alright, save and exit. We did the heavy destroyer. Uh, I do believe we need to upgrade our fleet frigate. So, can we get away with... We can get away with losing a quantum reactor. Medium star beam, small shield, Oops, small w missiles, just so it has something can fire 360 degrees. Two shields, heavy armor. A single crystal sentence. Now we have space. It's got three fuel cells, two energy collectors. Let's throw in the med center. Okay, we still got space. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know about with the newest patch. Uh, but I, I really don't get into the minutia. I usually build my ships to be just well balanced in both games. Do we, can we dump an energy collector? Yes, we can. Interesting. We'll keep a single energy collector. Oh, um... To see if we can squeeze in... Heavy armor and an extra shield. Still good. Energy is fine. Static energy used. Okay...
So we've got the med center, the rec center. We'll dump an energy collector for a third fuel cell. And now we're over. By one. I would rather have the extra shields. Yeah. Yeah, just sheer firepower. Um, I would rather have the extra shield. Oh, we have three fuel cells. Never mind. I thought we only had two. Med center, rec center. Damn it. All right. So save and exit. So that is state ships. Now state bases. Research station first. You don't need two rec centers. Although it does stack, which is neat. But let's give you a med bay. Uh. Oh. Oh, no, it is version 2. Okay. Uh, so let's give you a med bay. Okay. Med center. Cool. Don't need two reactors. Cargo bay, two fuel cells. Ion cannon. We could... Tr Here, we're going to switch these. But we're going to say medium star beams on the big ones. Armor and shields is fine. Target tracking, counter pistol sensors. We can we fit small fighters? Yes. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, for weapons, we're gonna trade out the ion beams. I think we're past needing the ion beams. Usually by this point in the game, ion defenses are strong enough. Probably not worth it. Hmm. It has no point defense, technically. But, can we do... Cannot do medium concussion missile. No, we can't afford... Anything else is going to be small. Um, let's actually rely... Sorry. Point defense. Point defense. Excuse me? Point defense. Point defense. Um, and it's gonna rely on uh, fighters and beams, mostly, for offense. So that's... Oh! Reactor energy output is too low. Can we fit another reactor? We can! There we go! Two reactors, we're good to go. Save and exit. Small spaceport. Yeah! Yeah, we kind of need to. This is going to be the big one. So, two cargo bays. Does have a med lab. Has three quantum reactors. Plenty of crew systems. Ooh, we are one over. Three, two... One, two, three, four. So, here's the issue. We're going to dump a small fighter. It's still over. Why is it over? So that, that tells me we need to redo this entire top. Works. The other thing I don't like about this game is it doesn't save. Like, this is a long list. So even if I put these... Like, all right, you, we need one command center. Let's assume we need at least three crew systems already. A damage control unit, a commerce center. So these are must-haves. Uh, a rec center. A medical center. Where's the sixth? And a research lab. Okay. And then quantum reactors. One, two. We're good. All right. One, two. And then cargo. One, two. Okay, we're already over. So we're going to need four crew systems. That's 
should give us plenty. Rec Center. Palmer Center. Med Center. Damage Control. Alright, we're still good. But now we only have space for 16. Really? The star beams take up that much more, huh? Energy collector and long range scanners. A long range scanner is a lot. We would have to significantly decrease the offensive firepower. So we're going to have to go in, strip all the weapons. Alright, and we need at least two energy collectors. Usual. So we'll do one, two. Three. Well, it looks like we needed three. Static energy used. Okay. Well, now we've got about 200 to play with. But now we take a look at weapons. So we, we have taken a massive weapons hit. So we don't need ion cannons anymore. Those can go. We No matter what, we need point defense. So one there. One there. After that, since we're focusing star beams, can we fit four? One, two, three... Four. Done. We can only fit two more of something else. Again, so the, the white sphere you see around... The red balls is the connection point. The white sphere is the firing arc. So... The exception to firing arts is anything with seeking in the title. Seeking missiles don't anything seeking does not care about firing arts. Can we fit two of these? One we can't even fit one. Alright. I guess this is it. Unless we unless we drop down to small. But I feel like going large is... I feel like bigger is better. So I guess this is what we're going to go with. We do have enough room to, at the very least, throw in a countermeasure system. So our point defense is that much better. So I think that's what we'll do. Save and exit. Civilian ships. We've done a pass on those should be fine civilian bases upgrade i'm just gonna let this stand whatever it's set to is what it's good for here well hold on just so you can see what you're doing yep you're fine so that's a small resort base now we're not building small mining stations, so we're gonna, we're not gonna upgrade that for now. We are gonna upgrade the large mine. All right, uh, plenty of cargo, plenty of fuel, weapons, and point defense is fine. Heavy armor. All right, we're good. It doesn't need two quantum reactors. I guess a med a med bay wouldn't hurt, just so it takes less damage. Alright, everything else should be fine. And now everything will auto-upgrade. And our money disappeared. Um, pause. Yeah, those are free upgrade. Yeah, that large cargo storage is going to help our civilian economy, which should give us a decent boost. 
But these are all free upgrades, and they're on, a, on enough ships, they might make a difference. So we're just going to let time tick from here on out. Uh, yep, we can go there. Things are adjusting. Uh, colony ship. Almost there. It will have enough fuel to get there. That's the important. Uh huh. Cool. They'll start exploring this area. Maybe we can have these guys say hello. Oh, that's nice. Free research. We're bouncing around. That's okay. I will accept a non-aggression treaty. Again, uh, just a reminder, I'm just showing the game off. I'm only going to play roughly 20 hours. Uh, just so people can get a feel for the game. I'm not going to do a full playthrough. Because, much like when Solar, it, it tends to get tedious near the end. A new Admiral. Alright, let's take a look at our Admiral. How are you doing? Beautiful. Look at that population growth. Ooh, and the espionage? Nice. New Admiral. What do you got? Not technical. Alright, no traits yet. Everything's bouncing around between upgrades. Um, the other thing is... Uh, the reason why it shuffled so much is not only it's upgrading military ships. Yay! We colonized you! Wait, pause. Yay! Alright, so because we colonized you, that is 100, 100, and we're going to set this to 10 just because. Done. Pause. Thank you. Uh, so we're immediately gonna go in. Every species has a planet preference they like. And the farther away that planet preference is, so, like, we like ice planets. Any of our species on this plant, planet, because it's a forest and not an ice planet, it is three steps away from ice planets and incurs a massive penalty. So what we're immediately gonna do is, nope, nope, nope. Nope. Humans can stay. The monkey boys can stay. You don't like forest. You like... Right? This is forest? Yeah. You like forest. You don't like forest. You're... Oop. Uh... Forest. Forest. You don't like forest. You don't like forest. You don't like forest. You don't like forest, you don't like forest, you don't like forest, you don't like forest. Actually, we're going to actively resettle any Xenox on here. So that they will go back to ice planets and leave it just for these guys. Um, but now, so the only species that will be on these are species that will like forest plants. What are you giving us? Nope, we're just going to decline. Um, pause. Do we have any spare ones? No. Ah, we are too short. I like to have ten. How much is it to build? Oh, we can't even afford destroyers. We can afford one. Alright, we'll go ahead and purchase that one. So now this is going to spread out our boundaries up in this area. So you'll notice... Actually, good question. That I just thought of. Alright, we're short on carbonite. We're short on polymers. We're okay on fuel, and yet we can't keep up with fuel demand. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to leave this alone. Uh, 
kind of need to rush this. But we spread out our borders. So you'll notice the AI has a ton of, ton of stations in this area. If we spread out our influence to this area, nothing happens. I believe I have some, yep, I have some mining stations down here. It's hard to tell. Oh, no, we're purple. Ah, oh, here we go. I've got one. Somehow I managed to build a mining station down here. Don't ask me how. I don't know how that happened. If the AI influence spreads to cover this system, they will automatically take control of my mining station because I do not have a mining treaty with them. They'll just get it. So the other way we are cheating is, right now I'm not going to do it, but our influence does not cover these systems. Once that happens, I am yanking everything out of there to be ours. Uh, is there a... See, now, our influence does cover this system. So what we will do is, game editor, this is... Might need to zoom in. Thank you. This now belongs to us. We are the Zenovians. Mine now. And this is mine now as well. Anyone else? I don't see anyone else. So th those are now ours because we have the influence and they can't spread their influence out here. Now we are choking on fuel let me go ahead we already have a base of this type here i believe this used to be a pirate station so i don't care about this or this i am going to yank this because one of the ways the ai cheats is if you'll notice we're choking on fuel here They have an empire roughly from... They are overflowing with fuel. And they do not have any... I can guarantee if we go in... 60%. There's none there. So we probably have twice as much fuel as they do. And we're choking. But they are overflowing. So the AI, at least as far as luxury resources and fuel that I can tell, actually almost every resource goes, oh, you need it? Here, have it. So I understand the AI needs to cheat, but there, there's a limit to how much cheating I'm willing to accept from an AI. Unless I'm playing on hard mode or, you know, triggering that. I am not triggering this. This is just default normal Bill. So because of that, it's like, no, we're cheating. Screw you. Yep, go ahead, check that out. We're back up to 23k. We've got this, we've got this. We can actually wait on this. Uh, Alright, there, there. They'll slowly go away. That's fine. They can settle there. We should be fine. Do we have... Alright, hold on. If we go into diplomatic, independent colonies, this is... Tower 4 2. Negotiate a deal. Alright, so we, we do need to give them some money to get up to limited trade agreement. So we need to give them some money as well. So the next... The next time we get up to 100k, I'll dump some money on them. Decline. So, do we have a space station here? Yes. Alright. Do we have a space station here? Yes, because we're not getting the option. Do we have a space station here? 
No, but we're missing resources. It's kind of choking out anyways. I am going to build one here. Because that will allow us to basically do a staging from here, which will spread out an influence here, which means we'll grab these. I am not sure... Yeah, we might want to start looking at maybe seeing if there's any planets we can settle out here with, with one of our secondary species. As is resin. Ooh, interesting. Alright, now see that's interesting. That means there's a there's ocean there's an ocean planet out here. We can't colonize it. But if we can get these guys in on it, they can colonize it. And that would allow us... It's a, it's a long journey, but theoretically, they can have this colony and a colony out here. Do we know they exist? This is, this is the problem. Do we know they exist? They are... Colony... Oh, wait, where are they? Eiffel. No, we still don't know they exist. Oh. Um, how many? I'm up to 14. Do I build two more here? We've explored it. Yeah, we haven't... We've started exploring here. I think we go ahead. We're going to want 20 eventually. Oh, never mind. They're missing resources. So we'll wait on that. Oh, what trade deal? Hold on. They're... Hold on. They're going to give us... Okay, they're going to give us a special location. And... Oh, did I read that wrong? Uh, okay... I thought they were giving us money. Okay. I misread that. I thought they were giving us money. Yep, I'll take the non-aggression treaty. I'll take the free trade agreement. First defense fleet go. We're not building any more ships. Alright, so... Another way the AI cheats... They want to join us. They are in territory that belongs to another AI. Right? Even if we get them to settle there, I think... Hold on. Oh, I would love these guys. These guys are amazing to get. There we go. Yeah, this location is in enemy territory. We cannot... Even if we send over a ship, it will say in enemy territory. But if somehow these guys became friendly to these guys, they could just take it. So. Yeah, go ahead, take that. Yeah, go ahead, investigate, pass, investigate. I'll take a trade agreement. Cool. You guys are annoying. Oh. Well, that's annoying. All right. Okay, we can afford it. I'm going to say... One, two, three, four, five. It's going to eat into some of our income. But if, they, if they're getting raided, they need defenses. Because we, we have no defenses. Yep, I'll take a non-aggression treaty. We're going to say no to that. We're building a starport there. We can't build one there. What is more important? I think spreading out as we... But we can't... 
even if we got them to like us. Oh no, we just don't have the money. Okay. I'll go ahead and build two more. So we it, it does have the resources. I think we try to get these guys to like us. So, not priority. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. That's here. Healing towards us. We aren't restricted trade. We need to get to limited trade. It is going down. It will balance out at six. Let's go ahead. And go ahead and give them another gift. There we go. That gets us to limited trade. What do you think of this deal? Now we can't immediately, because we just negotiate, we can't, the break point is 0, 10, and 20. So at 10 we get limited trade. So now trade is going to slowly tick up, which is good. So we don't give, need to, theoretically we don't need to give them any more money. For a while as trade ticks up and that sort of thing. Um, uh-huh. Offer, we're gonna decline that. Pause. Who are these guys? Sometimes it's a bit hard to see who is who. Empires. So can we shoot? All right. All right. I guess that's the best we're gonna do. It is ticking up. Maybe we could get military refueling from them. Oh shit! Uh, back up to eighty-three. All right. Um, hmm. what do we want to do? Fleets are capped out. Twenty-seven. We cannot afford another. Like if I go to colonies, we could build. A weapons academy somewhere. 118, 123. Ideally something with a low colony development. But there's nothing like super low. And I like to spread it out. What's this? I don't know when we got this. Nice! Cool. Anyone else got an artifact? Oh, we need to build. All right, let's go ahead and build some planetary districts. All right. Um. Put uh oh, okay that's not us. Limited trade agreement. Yeah, I'll accept that. Do we? Hmm. Uh, do we start building a fourth fleet? Twenty-six, twenty-seven. Would it be the worst? Now where are they going? <laughs> they were home-based here. It doesn't have the materials, so they're traveling all the way across. Okay. Defense fleet. Defense fleet. Let's 
start building a fourth attack. Uh, how are we doing, actually? We only have two. If we build another attack fleet. Hmm. We're gonna need more. So let's build the fuel tankers first. One, two, three, four, or three. We'll say three. And then once we get up to the, another 50k... We'll start building up a fourth attack. High tech cannon. Hold on, let me just check. So these are mega labs. Okay. So yeah, so they're building this. No one's built these yet, which is fine. How are we doing? Um, uh, money-wise, ooh, this is rough. So this is negative six thousand. A because of the small population doesn't help. But the other reason why it's so low, uh, development, is why it's chewing up so much is because of the fifty-seven million xenots here. Uh, so once these guys leave, because we started with slightly more than that, but once these guys actively leave, and they are actively leaving, this number will drop significantly. And then we can use these guys to hopefully settle these guys. Alright, again, not our empire, don't care. Yep, that's fine. Uh, gonna decline. Although we do need another construction ship. Because we're only at nine. Uh, ten's usually good. And They'll get help. Hey, fuel tankers. Nope. Oh, well, hold on. What was this? Galaxy News. Enormous Sam Storms at... Kill me. Ooh, well, I'm sure they'll handle it just fine, right? Aquarios? Ooh! Now, this can be a giant game changer. So, investigate. So, these ships will hold massive amounts of technology. So, it comes down to, do I scrap it to get their tech? Or do I keep it to help me fight? And I'm, all, I'm always of the mind that it's better to scrap it than keep it. Go ahead. Limited trade agreement. We'll accept that. Don't care. We can't colonize you anyways. Okay. Where is this? All right. Whoa. Look at that. We just got all of this territory. Now, this is a production shortage. Alright, these are both production shortages, not first time we've seen it. Nice. So that is a free upgrade. So, you see the, the little yellow arrow? There's no yellow arrow on these ones, so that means I have to go in and manually upgrade it. The yellow arrow means automatic upgrade. So every ship that has a rec system has now automatically upgraded to holographic entertainment in my entire empire for free. So six, seven. So these these will be all automatic free upgrade. Um 
Is there anything major I feel like we need to watch? I guess this wouldn't hurt. Advanced damage control wouldn't hurt. That's a 5%. And it basically doubles the repair rate. Uh, fast mining. We're behind on that. We're behind on this. Wouldn't it be bad to grab? I'm going to pass on... Oh, wait. No, I need this to get to this. This is a dead end. Oh, I do need... Large troop transports to get to rapid assembly. So... Uh, never mind. We're full on queued up. So we're just going to let things tick. Yep. We like free trade. That means we don't have to worry about our resources as much, I think. I'm curious. If we go... Pause, please. If we go into new colonies. Suitable for Xenots. There are a bunch of low ones. Yeah, like 12, 11. Yeah, they get too low. What about our other species, though, right? We have Kiadin. Yeah, we're going to have to cheat a little, I think. Nothing's triggering. And we, we don't... Oh, no. Wait, what? That's weird. They all like forest colonies. So what? Hmm. Hmm. Unknown. Up to 120k. Negotiations. Independent colonies. Don't care. You're ticking up. Alright. Until that gets to... Actually, they should get to free trade on their own. We're only at restricted. So if I speak with them. Send a gift. Negotiate a deal. We can just jump... Straight to free trade, that can pick up on its own. We don't have to worry about that. Decline. Again. And 10, 12, and 17. We're going to balance this 60 40. Gotta slow down our research a little, but we should be okay. Up to 80k. Uh oh. Yes! Uh, they added Stellaris, they added hyperspace gates. Which are they they have to they have to connect from system to system to system. Um, and they they obviously cost stuff to vote, but they're quicker in the tech tree than gateways. And they double the hyperspace speed. I think it's double. It might be triple. So they are worth it. Getting a chain of it up is worth it. Um, oh, are you talking about in this? No. And sorry, I apologize. I misread that. The only way... To increase your hyperspace speed. Because remember, it's essentially warp speed. Is to build better warp engines. 
So the only way to increase warp speed is to research high speed and efficient hyperdrives. Is to get better hyperdrives. Yeah, I like the relays too. I think they are a very nice addition, as are the orbital rings. Um, the orbital rings are very that's the problem. There's also no mega structures in this game. There's no orbital rings. You can't build um Like you can build mining stations or that sort of thing, but you can't build um I'm drawing a blank. The the look the habitats like there's no habitats like in Stellaris, that sort of thing. I would love to see them added. I don't know if that will ever happen. No, we're at ten. That should be plenty. Fuel tankers. Interesting. There's still only two. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and build three more fuel tankers. Three. Let those build. How's our budget looking? We're up to 30k. We could build... A weapons academy here. To, to boost the development to 132. And I think I will. It's going to chew out a chunk of our credits. But we should be okay. Nope. Ten's plenty. Ooh. Boy, everyone else is getting plagued, aren't you? Where is this? Sure. Ah. Pause. Now that is in our territory. Aha, so we're going to go in game editor, and we're going to max this out. Back up to 50k. Hey, better scanners. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.